Welcome to Radiation Test. Today is December 16th, 2011. And I wanted to make a quick video today <clears throat> to point out a couple of things. I uh, was contacted by email by an individual who claimed that uh, no fallout from Japan would make it to Illinois. And they're a competent individual, and I'm going to give them that. But I wanted to point something out to them and all you guys. This is a document from the FDA right here and I'm, I'm gonna put a link on this video so you guys can look at this yourself and it's about radiation safety and what the FDA and the EPA are doing to uh, protect the American people well let's go over to this little section of the document right here it says what products come from uh, to the US from Japan <clears throat> it says FDA uh, regulated products imported from Japan include human and animal foods, medical devices, and uh, radiation emitting products, cosmetics, animal and human drugs, biologics, dietary supplements, and animal feeds. Uh, foods imported from Japan make up less than 4% of foods imported from all sources. Food products from Canada and Mexico make up the other 29%. So I just wanted to point out they're still importing food from Japan to the United States okay that's not stopped and if you look up on this document look around on it you'll find out that they're actually banning uh, certain foods from Fukushima prefecture Ibaraki prefecture and a couple of other ones but uh, they're still important the foods guys and if you look over here are there dairy products that come from Japan so let's look here look Foods imported from Japan constitute less than 4% of foods imported from all sources. Dairy products make up only one-tenth of 1% 1 of all FDA-regulated products imported from Japan. Most dairy products in the U.S. market are produced domestically. But, you know, we can get some important information out of this little paragraph they put. And basically, they're still importing dairy products from Japan to the United States. And if we scroll down on this document a little bit you'll see what it says here uh, the US Environmental Protection Agency has reported low levels of radionuclides in milk in the US is this a cause for concern well first of all I was looking at some of the radnet data and they have detected cesium and iodine in the milk in Montpelier Vermont they detected it in the milk in Oak Ridge Tennessee so <clears throat> to sit here and say that uh, fallout from the Japanese nuclear meltdown isn't going to reach Illinois or any other state is just nonsense. It's nonsense. And you can read right here, at this time there is no radiation safety risk related to milk produced in the US. EPA monitors milk for radiation under its RADNET program and has reported extremely low levels of iodine-131 and cesium in some milk samples. These results are expected and are far below the FDA's derived intervention level. Even for a person who drinks a lot of milk, it would be virtually impossible to consume enough milk to approach the level of concern. Well, first of all, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that there is no safe level of radiation. Uh, radionuclides and the, the alpha and the beta, when they get into your body, they bombard a small localized area of tissue and that can cause mutations in cells which leads to cancer it's as simple as that and I also noticed in this report you guys can look for yourself and uh, it was talking about what they're monitoring for well it says they monitor for uh, iodine-131 cesium-134 cesium-137 are the primary radionuclides of concern but also of concern is strontium-90, strontium-89, uh, plutonium these are other types of radionuclides that are, 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 are far worse because plutonium, apparently, uh, just one atom of it in your body is enough to cause a mutation in a cell. And strontium, it follows calcium in the body and it develops in your bones and uh, or migrates to your bones and it uh, uh, stays there for the rest of your life. Where cesium-137, it can be uh, biologically excreted through time. So... I just wanted to point out to you guys that fallout from Japan is indeed coming over to the United States. And according to this FDA document, uh, it's in the milk. So, 
and not only that, but it's in the milk in Japan too, guys, and they're still importing it over here to the U.S. So the FDA might not be looking for strontium-90 and other types of uh, substances that are dangerous, but uh, you can uh, be assured that radiation tests will continue to do what we do, and we'll be on the lookout for it. Thanks a lot, guys.